in today's lecture we are learning about the f strings that are formatted strings which are the easiest and the most readable way to format the strings in python because if you are still using dot format or percentage formatting you are going to love this topic because they were the old formatting techniques but in today's video we will see the new formatting technique that is f string that is formatted string so let's move to our vs code screen here i will make a file by the name formatted string dot py basically f strings or formatted strings were introduced in the python version of 3.6 and you write them by prefixing the string with the letter f and use curly braces to insert the variables or expressions directly so i will explain you with a basic example let's say my name let's say the name is this and age is this so if i want to print then how will i print it if uh, my name is this name and age is this and if i run it then it will give me the output as my name is krishna and age is 20 here you can see but what if i uh, if i didn't knew the concept of f strings then i will just print print my name is is a name and and age is just like age if i print both of the statement you can see there is no uh, there is no difference between these two but why we use f strings because it's a clear way to format a string and we can use the variables directly in place of in their right place basically so this is the advantage of formatted strings moving ahead inside f strings we can write actual python expressions you can see here inside the formatted strings we can write the actual expressions let's say let's uh, delete this example let's say i have a equal to 20 b equal to 10 and if i want to uh, print print uh, value of a is a and b is b and there some is a plus b so what is going to okay i have used the wrong spelling now running it again you can see value of a is 20 and b is 10 and their sum is 30 we can directly use the expressions inside the formatted strings this is the benefit of the f strings or you can say formatted strings we can also use the formatted strings in the functions while declaring the function using the def keyword let's say if i am making a function with the name def greet and in this function if i want to return f hello and here i am taking the name and i just call it by print greet greet viewers then it will just give me the output hello viewers so we can use f strings with the function declaration too and this is a good example we can also format the numbers using the f strings let's say if i have the value of pi as 3.141516 and blah 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 and if i want to format this now format this sequence like i will just i will just do print the value of pi up to two decimal places is 
I will just do pi dot two f. So if I, yes dot two f. What will it do? It will just round off this pi value up to two decimal places. Let me show you by running it. You can see the the value of pi up to two decimal places is three point one four. And this point two f rounded the value to up to two decimal places. The next thing is how we can format the dates using this formatting technique. You are very well aware about the module import date time. It tells us the actual date and time of the system. Today date time dot date time dot now. It will tell me the present date time. And in the next line, if I will print. If today is today percentage A, and here I will just do percentage D, percentage B, and percentage Y. Let's see the output it is going to give us. Running, running. Let me delete this terminal and run it again. Here you can see today is Monday, fourteenth of April, twenty twenty-five. Today is Monday. Percentage A denotes the uh, current day, or you can see current uh, day, Monday. And percentage D is the date. Percentage B is the month name, and percentage Y is the year name, basically. So this is the these are the basic operations. Of earlier we were using uh, old formatting methods like dot format etc. But they are of no use if we have some other model of Python because dot form because formatted strings also all only works in the Python three point six. And if we are using uh, other models of the Python, then it will it can it may give us the error. So it is preferably said that f string or formatted strings. Should be used instead of dot format or percentage methods. So basically, the summary of the lecture is that we can start the string with the f prefix and insert the variable using the curly braces. You can see over here. You can see over here, and you can write expressions and use formatting inside. Uh, the formatted strings provides the cleaner and more modern. and then the dot format or percentage formatting methods and that's it for the formatted strings it's just a small topic and in the next tutorial we will be talk about the unpacking operator the powerful star and double star topics and how you can use it like a pro so see you in the next one thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you are clear about the formatted strings thank you